right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday, getting ready for my trip to Argentina. We had uh, Matt Hobbs stop by with our friend Harley, and um, I'm looking forward to visiting Vinnie Cobos, one of my favorite wines, and I'm glad to see that they've, uh, you know, they're working hard to define the different important regions. They've changed this Bramer line, so you have Luján de Cuyo, you have uh, um, uh, Vida Uco, and uh, you have uh, really starting to highlight the different specific regions within Mendoza. Well, you know, Paul Hobbs came from California, brought there by Nicholas Caetana when he when they found him at Mondavi Winery. He's working as the lab, um, uh, one of the head guys in the laboratory there, and Nicholas Caetana saw the promise in Paul Hobbs, and the rest is history. Paul's one of the top consultants in Argentina, and um, well, he's got his own import company now, and he's got a slew of uh, wines under this crossbar barn, a few cases of wine he's making under this crossbar label now, which has now got its own fruit source. It used to be the second wine for his Paul Hobbs label, but a standalone brand now, the 2013 Sonoma Coast Chardonnay. A beautiful nose, this rich, ripe, tropical fruit, hints of vanilla, bean spice, creme brulee, virtually no oak here, but full mallow. Uh, and uh, this one's ripe and juicy on the tongue. Really refreshing, though, for being how fruity it is. Still nice balance, even better on the second day. Uh, very good wine at 27, 2475, the Paul Hobbs Russian River Chardonnay. Uh, and uh, this wine much richer, much more complex. You get that tropical fruit, the lemon drop candy, creme flan, vanilla, cinnamon spice, really smooth and creamy on the tongue. A lot of that uh, vanilla bean spice showing on the finish. Even though it's very rich and fruit driven, this wine still has a nice freshness at the end. Excellent juice at $60 a bottle. The Bram Air Chardonnay, though, my favorite. And uh, this is from Marchiori Vineyard, Marchiori Vineyard, and it's 50% new oak. Uh, single vineyard wine, a strong, minerally flinty uh, note to this wine, and east spice, lots of ripe, ripe tropical apricot and peach fruit, really rich and creamy on the palate. This wine's got a load of that minerality showing at the end, that flinty, minerally note, but a lot of acidity here, and even bigger on the second day. This wine needed some time to open up at $48, most excellent juice. Wow, hard to say the best Chardonnay uh, from this tasting was from Argentina. Usually don't hear that. The Pinot Noir Cross Barn, uh, Sonoma County. County. Uh, this wine, uh, very forward and ripe, 2012, a great vintage here. Uh, lovely dark cherry, raspberry fruit, pretty floral notes, exotic spices there. Smooth and silky on the tongue, that lovely rich round fruit, very exotic, pretty floral notes on the finish. Uh, very good juice at 35.25. The Pinot Noir Russian River, definitely a step up in richness and concentration. Same vintage, that 2012 black raspberry exotic spice. Uh, bouquet, a really solid bouquet here of aromas. Very jammy and rich on the tongue as well. Smooth and velvety texture, those exotic spices and pretty floral notes lasting through the finish. A lovely jamminess and coulis, uh, raspberry coulis like fruit, but still fresh here at $68. An excellent Pinot Noir. The Paul Hobbs Cross Barn Cabernet, they now make two of Sonoma and Napa, and true to form, the Sonoma lighter, more forward, more drinkable, uh, sweet cassis and black currant fruit in both of these wines, that sweet tobacco spice, uh, some loamy earthy notes there, sweet herbs, and uh, like I said, the Napa to me just had a little more richness and a little um, more structure to the wine, uh, both of these wines, excellent though, I just edged out the Napa. The 2011 Napa wine, it's got kind of good amount of that winter greeny kind of note that you get from uh, this 2011 vintage and a lot of the single vineyard stuff that Paul Hobbs does went into this wine so I only made a tiny bit of single vineyards in 2011. This wine's got bitter cocoa, dark earth and that green winter green hint kind of showing through on the finish. A little bit of Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc in the blend but a nice sweetness to the mid palate. A great effort for the 2011 vintage. Maybe just a little pricey at $120 a bottle Ooh, uh. All right, well, we had some great Malbec here from Bram Air, which a little better value. They produce about 35,000 cases now, these Appalachian Series wine, which is a good amount of juice here. And the Valle de Uco wine had a lovely bouquet of roasted coffee, dark berry fruit, and almost a sweet balsamic note. Really nice, rich, ripe blackberry fruit on the tongue, round tannins, nice freshness, that smoky, toasty oak spice, black pepper, and violet notes lasting through the finish at $39.75. An excellent Malbec. The 2012 Luhan de Coyo, a big and bold style of Malbec. We're going to have a amount of that roasted coffee shown here, the dark blackberry fruit, black licorice, really complex bouquet, big and chewy on the tongue, a solid core of that black uh, berry fruit, big tannins, that licorice and violet showing through on the finish. A big wine, but still balanced and fresh. Uh, um, I like both of these wines equally as much here. The uh, Tuza Vineyard, a new one for me from Las Compuertas, 
uh, these wines all at another level. You know, we had three single vineyard Malbecs, the Marchiori Vineyard, the uh, Pedrial, and the La Consulta. And uh, these wines, I mean, the 11 vintage Pedrial seemed like this wine was a little oxidized, a little bit off. But the other two wines, just blockbusters, just huge wines. And uh, my favorite was the La Consulta. This is a single vineyard from Valle Uco, a bit of a peppery spice of the dark cherry, blackberry fruit on the nose, very really dense and rich on the tongue, layers of dark spices, ripe fruit, and a host of tannins here at the end, bittersweet chocolate. This wine needs a bit of time, these 2012s. Very well balanced, very well built, and uh, like I said, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the the two single vineyard wines, uh, the uh, Tuza Vineyard from Las Com uh, Compuertas and uh, the Rebon Vineyard at another level. I think the, uh, the the 2011 wine, like I said, just not on the market. Drink with our friends from Paul Hobbs Imports. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.